consciousness. So you will receive a body. You may like it or hate it, but it is yours to keep for the entire period. Second rule. You will learn lessons. You are enrolled in a full-time informal school called life. It's an informal school. You will learn lessons. Third rule. There are no mistakes, only lessons. There are no mistakes, only lessons. Growth is a process of trial, error and experimentation. The failed experiments are as much a part of the process as the experiments that ultimately work. Fourth lesson. Lessons are repeated until they are learned. This particular sentence I loved a lot. That's why I keep on quoting this particular sentence. Lessons are repeated until they are learned. A lesson will be presented to you in various forms until you have learned it. When you have learned it, you can go on to the next lesson. Fifth one. Learning lessons does not end. There is no part of life that doesn't contain its lessons. If you are alive, that means there are still lessons to be learned. Learning lessons does not end at all. I want to tell you a small story now. One balloon seller was selling balloons near a playground. Daily he used to come to that playground and just to attract the uh, children to come to him because children used to keep on playing in the playground just to attract them. As soon as he used to come, he used to release one particular balloon and that balloon used to go up in the air. When the balloon used to go up in the air, children used to see that uh, balloon and they used to understand that the balloon selling uncle had come and they used to rush there to purchase the balloons. This was his marketing trick. One particular uh, kid was always coming there and he was just looking at the uh, balloon seller releasing his first balloon and he used to simply watch and he used to simply go away. He never used to purchase any balloon. The balloon seller had different colored balloons. Each day he used to release one or the other colored balloons. Some day white, some day green, some day orange, some day pink, something like that. One day this balloon seller observed that this particular boy is coming there and he is just watching. He is not purchasing any balloon. So next day the balloon seller casually asked this fellow, Why my dear, you are really coming here, you are not buying any balloon from me. Now that boy said, Uncle, I am waiting for you to release that black color balloon. And balloon seller said, Why? And the boy said, I doubt whether the black color balloon will go up or not. The balloon seller simply laughed and he released one black color balloon. It simply went up. Now the balloon seller said, My dear child, all the balloons will go up as long as they have air. It is not the color of the balloon which is important. It is the air that is important. It is not the outside appearance that is important. It is what that is inside the balloon that is important. And the boy understood a great lesson. And then the balloon seller asked him, Why did you ask this question? Then that boy said, Uncle, I am black in color, so people keep on calling me Kaliya, Kariya, Kala and they keep on mocking at me and uh, many times I think that uh, I may not come up in life at all because my black color itself is my limitation. Now this balloon seller told, my dear child, it is not the external appearance that is important, it is the inner strength that is important. This particular story I read in one very beautiful book called You Can Win, written by Shu Khera. All of you should read that particular book. Very beautiful book. And whenever I remember the story, I remember Abraham Lincoln. He was a black person and uh, he was a failure in his younger days. He used to sleep in a horse shed. And he used to sleep on a wooden plank. So much of poverty. Even his married life was also not really very happy. And he had a lot of suffering. 
he became the president of usa at the age of 51 until then he had a lot of sufferings in spite of all that every time one hour suffering used to happen he used to simply say that this too will pass away this too will pass away and he developed that much of patience and courage and because of him today in usa at least to some extent there is liberty people are not differentiated based on the color of the body but there are still some stupid people who still think that the external appearance itself is great they will have to learn their lessons because learning lessons does not end there is no part of life that doesn't contain its lessons lessons are repeated until they are learned and if you are alive that means there are still lessons to be learned sixth one there is no better a place than here when you are there has become here you will simply obtain another there that will again look better than here many times people keep on hating wherever they live or in whichever nation they are sometimes whichever language they speak in whichever state they are i have many examples where i have personally observed that the people who go to usa for higher studies most of the time they stay there for few years in the beginning of those few years they keep on admiring the usa and they keep on hating india after some time they will have something called nostalgia where they will again start feeling for india but they will be stuck up at usa for some other reason they will not be able to come back to india then they try to re establish the connections with their indian counterpart the thing is why do they hate anything for that matter iddalle irbeku biddalle hudukbeku is one proverb told in kannada 